Hey guys, we're in lovely Austin, Texas, and I want to show you how to take full advantage of a pre-wired Tacoma. Jeep Leaf. What's great is that in my last video, we figured out that my truck comes pre-wired. So, all I have to do is buy the parts, right? Right. All you have to do is buy the parts. So, I want to show you guys what I'm going to install in my truck today, and that involves these wonderful items right here. And of these wonderful items, it's going to allow me the ability to have intermittent windshield wipers, uh, cruise control, a backup camera, and a key fob. And this is awesome. I'm so glad I'm going to get to install these for you guys to watch me out there. And it should work because my truck is pre-wired, so all I have to do is plug and play. And if you guys are wondering where I got these items from, it's it was not easy it took me a couple of months to gather all these up together for you guys but I actually won the camera with the with the backup mirror and it has the LCD screen in it I went off of eBay so you just gotta stay up to date with the bids on eBay and for these items right here I managed them to take them from a scrap vehicle around this area and I think it was Oh man, I, I want to say it was a 2007. This all came off of a 2007. All these parts, the intermittent windshield wipers, the cruise control, and the wireless key fob. And the way I unplugged it, it should just plug back in the vehicle here. And so if you guys want to see like the serial numbers or anything, try to get a good... Try to get this in the camera but this is this right here is the receiver door control and it, it allows for the receiver of the key fob so thankfully I was able to buy both of these guys together because this came from the same truck so I can actually use these together all I would have to do is plug this in to a space right behind the glove compartment uh, windshield intermittent windshield wipers should just replace easily a cruise control should just uh, replace easily as well and everything should because it's all pre-wired so let's get this started first is we're gonna install a cruise control and we're gonna install the intermittent windshield wipers but what we need first is to for the truck to be on so we can reach this screw and the screw on the opposite side in order to take apart the rest so let's remove these screws real quick while the vehicle is on and the battery is plugged in. So now that I have these screws out, right now would be a good time to shut the engine off and unplug the battery. So what we're going to have to do is pull these keys out now since the vehicle doesn't have its battery in anymore. And we want to pull this out. And you want to take this off somehow. So we're just going to push right here. You can't really push in the front. Oh, there we go. And you want to do it the same way on the other side. Oh, that came out nicely. Oh. I want to get these out of the way for now. Oh man, and that popped right out. Oops. Make sure the steering wheel is locked before you take that bottom cover off. This popped off on its own, but it's supposed to just like pop out anyways. So, I mean, I can show y'all, but. You can just use your finger, if anything, or a nail, or a flathead screwdriver. And I don't think we need to remove, oh yeah, we do need to remove the other side. So remove the other, this piece, that came from here, off on the other side as well. So we got them both off now. And you want to use a hex, or you want to use a hex to pull off this screw in here. 
So you can't really see it, but let me get you guys close in on there. But there's a screw right there that you want to take off. And then there's one on the other side. So let me take these off real quick. So with the battery taken off, and you know for a fact it's taken off, you can just pop these cables off and take the airbag out. So let's do that. Let's uh, grab this right here. Just want to twist that like that. Like that. And it should come off. There we go. Well, that's off. And they say you're supposed to place the airbag like this outside. But I'm going to place it right there. Okay, let's put this cruise control in there. So it's just going to run through like so. Um, just line up right there. This cable like that. This will plug in right here. And for you guys out there that are wanting to add radio controls, it I couldn't change it because this thing doesn't have the plug for it that I need. So that's plugged in and it should work like just like so. We're going to put these screws in and then we'll work on the intermittent windshield wipers. Let's do that real quick. Forget that there's a ground cable that the cruise control came with, so we're gonna just mount it on the airbag on the ground of the airbag right here. So we're just gonna plug that right in. Yeah. Oh, fits perfectly. Then we could put the airbag clips back on because we're done with this little part over here. Make sure everything's secured. Good to go. Let's place this on here. Hmm. Okay, let's put the tighten these screws. So, the one on the right, we're going to have to do something with this. And you can just line this up and drill a hole there. And then just put this back on. But I don't really need it. I don't care too much about it. On the left side, put this back on. We don't need this. Because we don't have radio controls. So, now we got to change this out. And hopefully, I don't have to put the battery back in to do this. Oh, locks right there. I think I can reach it. So, hmm. I want to show you guys. These are made the same way. And if you look really close on this one that's already in, there's this little head right there that you can just push down with this screw. So you just push it down and it should just pop out. Push down right there. Make it get past that one little part. And there it goes. Comes out. 
take these clips off. Let's put this bad boy on. Plugs right in. Clips right back in just like that. Awesome. So let's put this back on. You probably don't want to put it on right now. You want to test it first, but I feel like this is going to work anyways. So I'm going to just put on these covers back on. We'll put the screws on later. But right now we can't because the battery isn't in. Okay, so now we're going to just put this camera in. And I already took off the camera, or the, not the camera, the, I already took off the rear view mirror, so all we have to do is look up here and we should be able to find the cables. Cables should be up here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. It's taped up in there. So we just, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but just take that out for now. Um, I'm going to just cut this mirror in real quick. Take the stone. Looks like a basic install. Just Ah, oh, perfect. Love this pre-wired thing. So I'm gonna just feed that back in there. Maybe I can find a better way to put that cable back there. Yeah, I'll, I'll do fine. Okay. Right, there we go. And then Alright, that's in. That should be good too. So now let me work on this part right here. we'll be doing next is in the cabin at least is we gotta get into this glove compartment so we just need to put this in so let's take this glove box out by squeezing these tabs in on the sides and then we gotta figure something out here supposed to be up here somewhere. Hmm. I'm gonna have to take that screw off. Alright, so I need to get some screws for this so I can mount this up there. Let me show you guys. This is going to plug in, it plugs in right into this cable right here. That was just hanging loose right there. This right here is just going to sit like that, like so. So I need to, I just need to go get screws for it and then we can have this thing mounted. Okay. Let's see if you guys can see how I did that up there. But just mount it right there and plug in that cable. So at this moment, 
This key fob should work if um, the batteries aren't dead in it. And cruise control should work. And the intermittent windshield wipers. So last, we gotta put the camera in. We have to put the camera in the tailgate. So back to the tailgate. Oh, check out this amazing view, guys. Look at Texas. Alright. So, we're gonna just plug in this camera now. So, let's take off these screws within this inner panel. Try to lift it out of this clip. See that right there? We don't want to break that. So now that we're in, let me show you guys. We basically need to remove all the screws. And we should remove these first, so let's take these little clips off. We pretty much just push on the one way. Dodge this way. Just cut it out like that. So with that out like that. Um, take these screws off. Then we'll have it out. So let's work on that. Um we just plug in the new piece. Let's test this all out. Let's test this all out before I, before I put in all the screws. So what I want to do first is plug in the battery and I'll be back. Here's the windshield wipers test. And this is up. Oh. And when I pull it back, ooh, it wipes itself now. Oops. That's good to go. And then backup camera. Let's see if this bad boy wants to work. So I'm gonna just switch this to reverse. And it works! Look at that, that's nice. That is sweet. So what would I be able to do with that? Some parallel parking, hardcore parallel parking. And then I guess we'll just have to go on a drive later to see if the cruise control works. Let's test out the key fob. Let's test it with all the doors shut. Locks. And then unlocks. Locks. Unlocks. Sweet. Alright. Let's wrap everything up. Put all the screws back in. And I'll be back. Hey guys, after taking the truck around the block, I found out that the cruise control does work. And if I remember correctly, it works at 20 miles per hour. Don't quote me on that. But the cruise control does work. And the backup camera does too. The key fob. And the intermittent windshield wipers. If you guys liked this video and found it helpful, please like and subscribe below. And Rice Castle out.